हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मॉड्यूल फाइव ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट प्रोफेशनल इंग्लिश द टाइटल इज प्रेजेंटेशन स्ट्रैटीज एंड ओरल कम्युनिकेशन सो राइट नाउ वी आर डिस्कसिंग पार्ट टू ऑफ द लेक्चर इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स स्पीकिंग विद कॉन्फिडेंस पैरा लिंग्विस्टिक्स पिच इंटोनेशन स्ट्रेस एंड रिदम एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड वॉट इज अ प्रजेंटेशन वॉट आर द पर्पज ऑफ प्रजेंटेशन एंड द काइनेसिक्स पार्ट इन्वॉल्व इन द प्रजेंटेशन सो नाय वील टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू अचीव कॉन्फिडेंस क्लैरिटी एंड फ्लुएंसी इन द प्रजेंटेशन हाउ टू डेवलप कॉन्फिडेंस इन स्पीकिंग बिफोर अ प्रजेंटेशन इट इज वेरी नैचुरल दैट वी गेट नर्वस वी फील नर्वस सो द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज दैट यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट टू बी नर्वस देन ओनली इट विल हेल्प यू टू डेवलप कॉन्फिडेंस इन स्पीकिंग सो वेन यू आर फीलिंग नर्वस दैन यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर अ लॉट यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर योर नोट्स यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस यू कैन प्रैक्टिस इट इन फ्रंट ऑफ अ मिरर or in front of a uh, your friend or some audience you have to breathe and then rehearse focus on your audience when you are going to give a presentation you have to focus on your audience and that will also help you to boost confidence simplify the things and you have to visualize success also you have to imagine that your presentation is going to be successful connect with your audience you can connect with them through questions through some uh, humorous joke and you have to act confident at the same time then how to achieve clarity in speaking for achieving clarity in speaking you need to speak at a proper pace do not speak too fast or too slow get the idea clearly so that the audience can also understand the idea clearly plan the medium and delivery how you are going to present get an idea of the audience we have already discussed that we should know our audience and what are their interests likes and dislikes so you have to get an idea pronounce words correctly when you are rehearsing the presentation you should check the pronunciation correct pronunciation of the words establish compatibility between verbal and non verbal means whatever words you are using and whatever your body language is conveying should be compatible next is fluency speech fluency is very important uh, those who have been struggling with speech are aware about the negative consequences associated with the inability to communicate fluently if you are not able to communicate in a proper manner in a flowing manner then of course we feel uh, we a lack of confidence so although the individual may have fewer skills than you the ability to communicate effectively can lead one to the top of the success ladder a person may not be very good in technical skills but he if he or she has good communication skills he or she is going to be very successful so to communicate effectively speech fluency has to be there you can achieve speech fluency through practice next the very important part of presentation strategies and oral communication is paralinguistics paralinguistics features are the non verbal vocal cues that help you to give urgency to your voice your voice is your trademark it is that part of yourself that adds human touch to your words because if you will listen to a computer you can identify it it does not has the emotions so there are certain features of voice dynamics that is the quality pitch pace stress intonation and rhythm we are going to discuss them one by one quality is a characteristic that distinguishes one voice from another all the voices are different from one another and it is very natural it is innate the quality of our voice is god gifted 
then comes the pace or rate it is the number of words which you speak per minute and the normal rate is from 120 to 150 words per minute you might have heard some people who speak very fast and uh, then it creates a problem that we are unable to understand them clearly so it is advisable that you should speak at a normal pace next comes the pitch pitch refers to the number of vibrations per second of your voice there may also be emotional factors to the pitch of a person's voice when surprised a person's voice may be in a higher pitch and when you might have heard when we are angry our pitch increases but the same person's voice may be at a lower pitch when they are tired or upset so pitch changes as per our emotions and mood so in speech the relative highness or lowness of a tone as perceived by the ear which depends on the number of vibrations per second produced by the vocal cords that is pitch it is the main acoustic correlate of tone and intonation while in spoken english the pitch contour does not convey semantic meaning it nevertheless contributes much to the emotional tone of the message next is our syllable syllable is a single segment of uninterrupted sound which is typically produced with a single pulse of air from the lungs each new syllable will create a new vowel sound for example the word mississippi you can uh, speak pronounce the word and you will clearly see that it has four syllables miss is a e as you can say the word beauty it has two syllables b u t similarly the word rugged there are two syllables rugged so this does not necessarily mean that every syllable will contain a vowel there are certain words they do not have a vowel at all but it will certainly have a vowel sound when pronounced because uh, for example you can see rhythm does not contain any vowel but it is said with two vowel sounds rith m so it has two syllables next comes the topic intonation intonation is the rise and fall of the voice in speaking in phonetics the melodic pattern of an utterance it is primarily a matter of variation in the pitch level of the voice as we said that pitch conveys the emotions so uh, intonation is also it also helps us to convey the emotions as well as uh, it also helps us to convey the type of sentences what that we are speaking so in such languages as english stress and rhythm are also involved in the variation of the pitch level intonation conveys difference of expressive meaning for example surprise anger weariness intonation in english language carries the meaning of a particular phrase in many languages including english intonation serves a grammatical function it distinguishes one type of phrase or sentence from another thus your name is john beginning with a medium pitch and ending with a lower tone that is falling intonation is a simple assertion your name is john with a rising intonation high final pitch indicates a question so we'll discuss the types of intonation falling intonation it describes how the voice falls on the final stressed syllable of a phrase or a group of words a falling intonation is very common in wh questions wh questions are those which are asked by the wh words what where why whom whose etc so for example where is the nearest post office what time does the film finish we also use falling intonation when we say something definite or when we want to be very clear about something for example i think we are completely lost okay here is the magazine you wanted so you can feel the stress also as is marked by the arrow keys then comes rising intonation rising intonation describes how the voice rises at the end of a sentence 
rising intonation is common in yes or no question for example i hear the health center is expanding so is that the new doctor are you thirsty and you can see the answer can be either yes or no then the third type of intonation is falling rising intonation fall rise intonation describes how the voice falls and then rises we use fall rise intonation at the end of statements when we want to say that we are not sure or when we may have more to add for example i don't support any football team at the moment but i may change my mind in future this is not said but meant it rained every day in the first week but things improved after that we use fall rise intonation with questions especially when we request information or invite somebody to do or to have something the intonation pattern makes the question sound more polite is this your camera would you like another coffee and with question tags also next we'll talk about stress in phonetics stress is the degree of emphasis given on a sound or syllable in speech also called lexical stress or word stress unlike some other languages english has variable or flexible stress this means that stress patterns can help distinguish the meaning of two words or phrases that otherwise appear to be the same for example in the phrase every white house the words white and house receive roughly equal stress however when we refer to the official home of the american president the white house the word white is usually stressed more heavily than house it clearly makes the difference stress can be used to provide emphasis but more often than not it is used to provide meaning to words in general and can be either associated with word stress on the word phrase or sentence levels for example we are going to record a record the two similar words are stressed differently so that the first record is stressed on the second syllable vowel reduction in the first syllable also assist in helping us to assign stress to the second syllable whereas the second record is stressed on the first syllable record with vowel reduction in the second syllable all words of more than one syllable have a prominent or stressed syllable if we pronounce a word with appropriate stress people will understand us if we use the wrong stress placement we run the risk of being misunderstood in the english language we do not say every syllable with the same strength or force in any one word we accentuate only one syllable while we pronounce the others quietly word stress can also help us understand the shape of a spoken word as it helps us to pronounce it examples are also given like there are three words photograph ph photographer and photographic although they are related in meaning they are pronounced differently this is because the word stress is put on different syllables within each word this is what makes them sound different in the word photograph the syllable we add stress is two is fo photograph in the word photographer the stress is added to the syllable two photographer and in the word photographic the stress is added to the syllable graph photographic next comes the topic rhythm the arrangement of spoken words alternating stressed and unstressed element is known as rhythm in phonetics rhythm is the sense of movement in speech marked by the stress timing and quantity of syllables etymology of rhythm is from the greek word flow for example in speech we find that syllables take the place of musical notes or beats and in many languages the stressed syllables determine the rhythm pitch loudness and tempo combine to make up a language's expression of rhythm languages vary greatly in the way in which they make rhythmical contrast 
सो इस रिदम गिव्स द स्पीच अ नॉर्मल फ्लो नेक्स्ट वील टॉक अबाउट द टॉपिक प्रोनाउंसिएशन व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट आर्टिकुलेशन इट मींस स्पीकिंग आउट ऑल द साउंड्स डिस्टिंक्टली सो प्रोनाउंसिएशन रिक्वायर्स अस टू स्पीक आउट साउंड्स इन अ वे दैट इज जनरली एक्सेप्टेड सो द बेस्ट वे इज टू फॉलो ब्रिटिश रिसीव प्रोनाउंसिएशन so this was all about the second part and here we complete the second part of the topic presentation strategies and oral communication thank you you can type in your questions in the comment section and you can subscribe for more videos